guys, so we're at the Subaru stand. We got a new 2020 Subaru Outback. And this has to be one of the coolest stands by far. It really went up and above and beyond with this entire stand. You got nature sounds. You got um, geysers, fake geysers blowing up that um, emit this fog. It, look, you can see it coming out right now, actually. It's crazy. But the highlight of this whole new thing is the new Subaru Outback. Um, this is based on the new Super Global platform. What it really is, is that it's the, a bigger legacy, a whole new 20 foot legacy. So on the inside, um, later on we're going to show you a little bit more of the limited trim. I'm sorry, the touring trim. But you get this nice new display, a new steering wheel. It's Everything's brand new. The platform's new, it's stronger, it's more rigid. We got some bubbles and stuff coming out of the sky. It's, it's, it's really a lot of fun. And the whole point of this is um, part of the National Park Foundation. And they were talking about sustainability and saving our natural parks and also adventure too. Get out there, go in and um, drive your Subarus around, um, go off road, go hiking, go camping. But also the biggest thing, take care of your environment. Um, don't litter, don't, we gotta stop cutting down trees and all this stuff. That's the message we're trying to um, bring out here. And just looking at the exterior of the new Outback, it's very similar to the current one. It's very similar to the current one. And there's a few little changes. The body's new, um, a new design at least, uh, new headlights and taillights. But they wanted, they kept it a little bit conservative with this. Um, they wanted to keep it a little bit more familiar to buyers, which is really good. Um, it looks okay, but again, it may look similar, but it is totally new. New chassis, new platform, new everything. So buyers are really gonna love it. It's a great car already, and they're just making it even more capable. And even on some of the trims, the seats are even waterproof. Yeah, they, they really wanted to make it on next level. Look upstairs with the Outback and the Legacy. This is the exact same system. Um, it's huge. It's I think it's 11.6 inches if I'm correct. And Subaru's Starling system is actually really, really easy and simple and very good to use. Um, this is actually the first time I'm, I'm taking a look at this. Uh, so let's just take a look at this together. So we can see we have our home button here. And it's very simple. I like how everything's laid out. The graphics are not too cheesy and not too premium. It's just the right um, touch for uh, the common market that they're really aiming this for. Um, in their app section, you can even get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and also that you can download your um, Subaru Starlink app, uh, which will help you with this, which also ties into your My Subaru. Um, it's more like vehicle features on the go type of thing. Um, okay. Um, this is really nice. It's quick. It's responsive. I do like the graphics. I really like um, this little um, supplementary display up here. So if you have noticed, Subaru always used to have another little display up here on all their models. That's gone now. So they've um, replaced that with this display over here. I like it. It's not bad. Um, let's see. Where did we go back to that other display? I like it. You can see your water, oil, and speed because you can't see any of that information. Um, in the center of the display anymore. They moved it over here, which is nice. I like um, that you actually have a clock here because in the last generation um, Legacy and Outback. It was really, Slow really... traffic on NJ495. Okay, let's turn that off. Um, <laughs> uh, back to the um, time. Uh, in the last generation Outback and Legacy, uh, the time was in a really, really tiny spot all the way down at the bottom. And it was really hard to see. It was kind of annoying, actually. I'm happy Subaru um, kind of changed that. I'm really excited to see that they even included um, NFC pairing too for um, Android phones, which is really nice. Um, you can also access car settings. Of course, we can't turn it on now because of the vehicle, but these are like little things like adjusting seats and headlights and interior um, options because this is a touring trim. And I have to say this interior is incredible. You have leather on the dash, leather, um, the seats are Napa leather too, leather all over the doors. Everything really feels super premium. I'm shocked because Subaru, I mean, they made decent interiors. But this is on another level right here. Um, these vents over here, they look like they're out of an Audi. They don't even feel cheap too, which I'm really impressed with. All the buttons, very premium. There's no hard scratchy plastics. Um, center console is super stiff, which is really showing how built, how tough and um, the quality of this new global platform is. Now, a lot of you must be wondering, what is this thing with this little IR sensor over here? This is Subaru's new facial recognition system. And yes, this is a Subaru, and we're talking about facial recognition system. I don't even know any other car that um, really even does this right now. So what will happen is you can go into the car and much like Face ID on your iPhone, and it'll actually read your face, and uh, for each different person that can use the car, they each person can have their own um, driver profile. So as soon as you get in the car, it'll scan your face, it will adjust your seats, it will adjust your steering wheel, it will um, input like 
kind of controls to your settings and how you like to drive, which is incredible. But what, um, the really nice thing about this too is that it's also a driver attention awareness system. So let's say as you're driving, you're becoming drowsy or something, the um, car will start alerting you because it will be constantly scanning your eyes, um, which is really, really a cool feature. I know some cars have that, but um, this driver profile with the face scanning is really, really nice. And I'm, I, it's nice to see that Subaru is starting to integrate um, the frameless rear mirrors too. Um, overall, this is just an impressive car. And again, this is just like what you're going to be getting on the Outback, which is this video is about, except this is just the legacy, um, the sedan version. Again, super impressed with this. This Outback and a lot of the new Subaru vehicles are being made at their Subaru um, in the America plant. And this plant is a zero landfill plant, which means they don't produce waste. They reuse everything, they recycle everything, and they become nationally known for this um, speed. It's really, really cool.